All right, editing Wes here. Um, I set out today to do a lens review and I wanted to put a story into it. So I started doing some vlog footage about doing something on my patio uh, for my wife. And um, it became two videos. So what you're gonna see here is a vlog and um, I have to do this. I have to do this for a couple of reasons. One, um, I'm too much of a perfectionist and I don't, um, I let that get in the way of creating content. So. I'm gonna challenge myself to do uh, one vlog a week and a regular uh, YouTube video with tutorial content, product reviews every week. And the vlog is to help me get into filmmaking and embrace that and just enjoy it and just tell a story. Um, and of course I'm gonna relate it to photography and of course I'm gonna be using the Canon EOS R and those things. As I was editing this, it was fun to edit. I love editing, but I also want it to provide value. And so as I was editing it, I was like, there's a lesson here about photography and I wanna share it. And the lesson is you are choosing a tool for a specific purpose. A lot of times when you pick up your camera um, or you're thinking about buying a new camera, a lot of people on the channel um, wanna know about, should I spend my money on this camera or this lens? And um, I think that's what most people are, um, looking for is kind of advice on have you used this is it good i don't want to waste my money or my time and so what i found is it absolutely matters what tool you pick up um, but it also matters what job you're going to do with that tool so this today's story is about that and we're gonna uh, let that story unravel and then we're gonna tune back in and i'm gonna chime in with some more thoughts <laughs> Have you ever been faced with a task that's seemingly simple, Guys. seemingly straightforward? Look at that. That is crazy. But you don't have the right tool for the job. All right, so I'm out here on the patio because my wife asked me to drill holes in the bottom of these coffee mugs to use them as planners for these little guys. So see those guys? So those are going to go in these, but they need to be, um, they need to have a little hole in the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna drill that. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, the secret of a uh, drilling into a ceramic coffee mug is the right drill bit. So I'm going to Home Depot here, and I'm gonna look for a ceramic tile drill bit, something like that, so I can get through that uh, without burning out my drill bit like I just did. All right, let's see. All right, I am not a DIY guy, but this seems like something I can do. Porcelain, tile and stone drill bit. Let's see. Who locks our own patio door? All right, here we are at the scene of the crime. She says you're gonna need this drill bit right here. Look at that little guy. All right, I did not learn this on my own. I actually Googled it and I looked up on YouTube a video called How to Drill a Drain Hole in a Ceramic Mug on a YouTube channel called Garden Answer. Shout out to Garden Answer. And so some of the steps you need to do is put a um, X of masking tape on the bottom of the mug and then you're gonna start drilling at a 45 degree angle and as you drill, you're gonna move the drill upward to a 90 degree angle and then every once in a while, so the uh, bit and the mug don't overheat, you're gonna spray some water on it to cool it down and there you go, that's it. There it is. Let's do one more. So there's a lot of confidence to be gained by trying something new and coming out on top, being successful. And so I just encourage you to, um, you know, let go of fear and try something new and um, see what you can do. Um, this DIY project for me represents um, something I wasn't able to do before. And uh, simple as it seems, if I have the right tool, that's a long way towards being successful. 
All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. So I just wanted to say this. Um, one, just like I mentioned, there's a, there's a fear um, of perfectionism and, and being not good enough. Actually, I am no good at DIY. So this vlog was kind of fun to make because I was able to do something for my wife that she asked. And, um, and so that was cool to do, but it's also um, cool to make a vlog and practice those filmmaking skills. Um, so that's, that's a win for me. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you. But I do want to share this. It absolutely matters what tool you pick up. And I'm going to do a lens review on the 28 to 70 RF lens. Uh, that's my next video. Um, I've already shot it. I have photos that I, image samples that I'm going to share. Um, and that lens is amazing. It's an amazing precision tool. It's kind of like the ceramic tile drill bit. Like, <laughs> but you only need that if you're going to drill through a ceramic mug. You know, you don't need that if you're gonna drill through wood or something else. So I think that's one of the things I'm um, kind of thinking about as I finish, put the finishing touches on the, the RF 28 to 70 is what is that specific scenario that that killer lens will do a job that nothing else can do. And so I'm trying to wrap my head around that and I will share that with you soon. Um, and that's coming up hopefully Monday. So that'll be tomorrow. So anyways, thanks for joining me. I so appreciate you. If you want to subscribe, I appreciate that. If you want to leave me a comment, let me know your latest DIY uh, project or um, if you have any other advice for me on drilling holes in ceramic coffee cups. But uh, that's it. That's it for now. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Peace. Thank you.